Hello friends, my name is Isil Khan and in this video we will just learn the quantities calculation of a straight wall. Remember the model and section of a straight wall may be different for each project which of course depends upon the design and syntax touch. However, in this video we will just do the quantity calculation just for a simple straight wall having concrete and the break steps then the DPC and of course just a wall. So in this video we will just do of course the quantities calculation for the same shown model and section. Alright and to understand this problem better let's have just an example as we always do. Suppose if we have a section this is just the section of a straight wall right. In the base, of course, we have PCC which is 148 and its breadth is only 70 cm and then of course the break step, this is the step number first, this is of course 50 cm and the height may be different, I'll just show you that a uh, little later, no problem. And this is just the ground level, right? This means we'll just do an excavation up to this ground level. Next up to plant level we have another brickwork step this is 40 cm and then of course comes DPC which is 4 cm thick. The thickness of DPC may be given only by the analysis calculation. This time we will only calculate the area of DPC and then of course comes the wall which is 30 cm thick. This is just the breadth or width of the wall, right? The height of the wall may be different. The thickness of PCC layer is only 30 cm. The thickness of first step of brickwork is 20 cm. And for another, we have 60 cm. And of course, the DPC is 4 cm. You already know that. The height of the wall is only 1 meter and the length of the wall is 6 meter. 100 means 1 meter, 600 means 6 meter. Because these videos are put of course in the centimeters. And let's say if we are asked to work out or determine the pilings. Number 1 the earthwork, number 2 concrete work, brick work, damp proof course or shortly you can say DPC. And then of course the cement plaster, we are informed to calculate the cement plaster above the plant level. And lastly, we are informed to calculate the whitewash by the given section. So let's have the detailed calculation and remember the calculation can be done in the following table. This is just a sample table containing different columns like you can say the description column, the number, then comes length, breadth, height or depth and then of course the quantity and then the remarks for detailing. Let's calculate of course the first thing we have the earthwork or you can say the excavation. So how we do this? Of course we'll just plug the videos in the columns and then we'll multiply the four columns of number length breadth and height of course we can get the quantity. Like you can say the number. How many number of excavation do we have? Of course only one because this is just a single straight wall. So we'll put one word there in the number column. And next I believe an excavation length should be 6.40 meters. Say how? Let's come into the remarks table. An excavation length should be of course the length of the wall which is 600 centimeters or 6 meter of course plus now we'll just subtract the thickness of the wall from an excavation width or breadth. Like you can say the excavation width or breadth is 70 centimeters or you can say 0 0.70 meters minus the thickness of brick wall which is of course 30 centimeters or you can say 0 0.30 meters. So we can get of course in excavation length equals 6.40 meters and then if you see the breadth or width of excavation is just the breadth of PCC which is 70 centimeters or you can say 0 0.70 meters. And the depth of excavation must be up to the ground level which is 30 plus 20 that's of course 50 centimeters or you can say 0 0.5 meters. Now if you multiply these four columns of course we can get the quantity of excavation or earthwork equals 2.24 cubic meters. And now let's go ahead for the PCC layer which is 1 for 8 ratio. Remember the number must be 1 because this is only a straight single wall right you can say and the length of a PCC layer must be the length of excavation because nothing is changed over here this must be 6.40 meters the breadth is of course the same the height is also the same if you see 
So the quantity must be, of course, if you multiply these four columns, you can get, of course, 1.344 cubic meter. And then comes, of course, the brickwork. And the brickwork is, of course, in two places. One is, of course, in the foundation. That's just below the plant level. And the brickwork, of course, one is there, which is, of course, above the plant level, if you see the wall. So let's calculate first the brickwork in the foundation. And in the foundation, let's calculate the brickwork in the step number first. How many number of steps do we have? Of course, we have only one. So in the number column, we can put, of course, one. What should be the length of step number first? Of course, I believe this must be 6.20 meters. Say how. Let's come again into the remarks column. Step number one length must be, of course, the length of the wall, which is 6 meter. Plus, we'll just subtract the thickness of the wall from the breadth or width of the step number first. Like you can say, the width of step number first is 0.5 meter minus the thickness or width of the wall, which is 0.3 meters. So we can get, of course, the length of step number first equals 6.20 meters. Now, if you see the breadth of the step number first is only 50 centimeters, or you can say 0.5 meters. And of course, the height is also known. That's 20 centimeters or 0.20 meters. If you multiply these four columns, of course, we can get the quantity of brickwork in the step number first equals 0.62 cubic meters. And now let's go ahead for the brickwork calculation in the step number second. Remember, in the number we have only one because this is just a straight single uh, wall, you can say, right? So the step number second is one and the length, I believe this must be 6.10 meters, right? Let's do this thing a little uh, bit uh, in detail in the remarks column. So the step number second length must be the length of the wall, which is of course six meters. Plus, we just subtract the breadth of the wall from the breadth of that step number second. Like you can say the breadth of step number second is 40 centimeters or 0.4 meters minus the thickness or breadth or weight of the wall, which is 30 centimeters or 0.3 meters. So 0.4 minus 0.3, that's 0.1 plus 6, which is of course 6.10 meters. And of course, the breadth of step number second is 0.40 and its depth is of course, if you see 60 centimeters or 0.6 meters. And if you multiply these four columns, we can get of course the quantity of brickwork in step number second equals 1.464 cubic meters. So this is the brickwork calculation for the foundation. And now let's go ahead for the brickwork calculation in the superstructure, of course. If you see in the number, I can plug, of course, only one. Because this is just a straight single wall, right? And in the length, of course, I can plug six. How? Because that's known, right? And this is above the plant level. So nothing is going to change over here. The length is given, which is 600 centimeters, or you can say six meters right and the breadth is also known that's a uh, 30 centimeter brick wall which is of course 0 0.30 meters you can say and the height is also known 100 centimeters are only one meters just multiply these four columns we can get of course the brickwork and superstructure equals 1.80 cubic meters and if we add the above three of course we can get the total brickwork which is the brickwork in step number first and step number second and the brickwork in superstructure equals 3.884 cubic meters. And now let's go ahead for the DPC calculation. DPC means damp proof course. That's 124, right? And the number we have only one. The length should be the length of the wall because nothing is changed over there, right? So the length of DPC is 6 meters. Its breadth is of course the same as the breadth of the wall, which is 0 0.30 meters. And of course, we'll ignore the thickness or depth of the DPC because we calculate or we do the quantity calculation for DPC and palm up area. So we'll just skip the depth or the thickness of DPC over here. And if you multiply these three columns, of course, we can get the DPC equals 1.80 square meters, not cubic meters, right? At square meters. Further, in the analysis of materials calculation, of course, we can include the thickness of DPC. So we got a few things like an excavation, PCC work, 
brick work and of course the DPC work and now let's go ahead for the plaster above plant level. We are not going to calculate the plaster below the plant level because in the example terms we were asked to calculate the plaster that's just the cement plaster above the plant level and the number of course this must be 2. Say how? Because we have two faces of the wall, right? One the front and one maybe the back. So in the number, we have two faces. And what should be the length? Of course, that must be the length of the wall, which is 6.00 meters. And the breadth? Of course, there is no breadth. If you see, are the weight are the thickness you can say over here because the plaster is always calculated in the palm up area, right? Further, uh, if you do the analysis of materials, uh, of course, you can involve or you can include the thickness of the plaster, no problem. Here we are just doing the materials calculation in palm up volume and area, you can say, right? So, 2 times 6.00 and the height is known, that's the height of the wall plus the thickness of DPC. Like you can say, one is the height of the wall, plus the thickness of DPC, that's four centimeter, or you can say 0 0.04 meters. So one plus 0 0.04, of course we can get the height of plaster, which is 1.04 meters. Now, if you multiply these three columns, of course we can get the plaster work equals 12.48 square meters. And further, let's do the calculation for white wash. Remember the whitewash may be the area of plaster work. So we can say shortly in the whitewash calculation is per plaster work. That means the plaster work equals the whitewashing or the whitewashing equals the plaster work which is 12.48 square meters. And that's it. This is how we can calculate the materials quantity calculation per a straight single wall. I hope you understand and hey if you have any question, I mean if you have any problem in the calculation, you can ask in the comment section, I reply you as soon as possible. And at the end, if you like the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon and never miss another update from an engineer boy. Thank you dears for watching, see you next time, Hello, salam.